Hey, yo, it's your one Nick on today. We're going to be talking about J.J. Watt signing with the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, so, today, J.J. Watt has officially announced that J.J. I mean, J.J. Watt would be signing with the Cardinals. Um, uh, there, there was also a rumor that earlier, um, K.J. Watt, the sources that J.J. Watt had were fake. They were never real. Um, so that's kind of crazy as well. So JJ Watt's getting a two year, $2 million and $13 million at some. So that means he'll get 13 now and 13 next year, which he wanted that type of money. So he's going to get it. I think it's 2.5 million actually. I could be wrong. Oh uh, yeah, 2.5. But yeah. For the next two years, and I think it's fine because J.J. Watt's already the best guy in the league. Um, Hopkins recently, the Marius Hopkins recently tried to recruit him, saying, hey man, come down to Arizona. And um seemed like he took it, and uh, they said, run it back. Um, if you guys have no idea who both these guys are, they've both been drafted to the Houston Texans. Um, they were there for a remainder of a time, um, for a long period of time until Bill O'Brien decided to blow up the whole thing and trade all the players for no pre-existing players, uh, pretty much. So Hopkins got traded away for nothing, um, which sucks. So being a Texans fan must have been sucking to see your team trade everyone for nothing. And also, there's no soft topic, but Deshaun Watson has reportedly sh- continued to say that he wants to get traded. If you guys want to see that, go watch on your recent video. I'm going to keep it short and simple. J.J. Watt wants to be traded out of Houston. But yeah, anyways, uh, the Texans let him go. Uh, he's been looking around. Um, he finally found a team in the Arizona Cardinals. Which would make them a good team now. They have Buda Baker. Um, Buda Baker, Chandler Jones, Pat, no, Patrick, not Patrick Peterson anymore. I don't think it was a good move. I think it was okay. I think he had better options. Like um, the Niners, obviously my team, or the Browns next to Miles Garrett. I wouldn't say like it's a legit move, but I guess it's an okay move because they got to figure out how to sign Hassan Reddick if they want to. Isaiah Simmons isn't even Isaiah Simmons that we thought of. Running a 4 2 3 as a linebacker, which is amazing. <laughs> Hasn't lived up to the hype. Um, they have no corners, they don't really have an offensive line. I they can make a deep playoff run. I don't think they're making Super Bowl run. I think that's what JJ wants to at least make it a deep playoff run. Cause before this thing went down, they actually looked like the best team in the NFL. In twenty seventeen, they looked like they were on the cusp of winning four to three Super Bowls. Four to seven Super Bowls looked like that. I'm like, no, I knew that wasn't possible, but it looked like they had everything they had. They had Deshaun Watson. They had a great receiving core. They had J.J. Watt. They had solid corners, but not great corners. They had uh, Eric Reed, or not Eric Reed, Justin Reed. So they looked like a promising team until they blew it up. But I think it's perfect. I mean, like I said, I would have wanted him to go to Denver, not Denver, I mean Cleveland, to shape it up with Miles Garrett. That would have been a good fit, or maybe Green Bay or somewhere else. Anyways, that's just a little bit of news right now. And like I said, I am sorry that I am not getting out news for the NFL. There is nothing coming, but if there is coming, I will be reporting them for you. And I will be giving out my information about it. So to keep it up to date, you guys should subscribe. 
Because when free agency starts hitting the NFL, I'm going to be on it a lot. And I do game on here sometimes. So I would keep subscribing for that too. Anyways, you guys are the best. Live your life to the fullest. See you next time.